This is FIFO Life on Red FM, and if you've got a question for any of our experts as well, jump online, don't hesitate, head to our website, redfm.com.au. We certainly do love to hear from you. Also joined right now by Chesswork Group CEO Alex Anderson. Good morning, welcome back. Good morning, how are you? Good, thanks. Uh, what of the most common questions coming through at redfm.com.au? They want to know about budgeting and debt consolidation, how that affects them. Yeah, this is, uh, it's amazing. Obviously, they're, they're, look, I mean, this question keeps on coming up every yeah. time you do a poll. And, um, you know, I've, I have actually kind of covered it a few times already on this show. They must not have been on swing or something like that. Who yeah, knows? Yeah, maybe. Maybe they missed it. Um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, look, it's one of those things where obviously um, it's really hard, especially if you're down to one income. Uh, I think that was one of the other yes, questions. Yes, that's like, right. Yeah, how do we budget when we're down to one income? There is no short, easy, hard and fast way out of this. You really just got to work out where is all your money going. So you have to have to go through your budget, right? That's just number one. It's, and it's common sense, but you know, it's something that you really got to look at all your expenses over the mm. over the month, and go, okay, well, what can I cut out? Um, and you know, for a lot of us, uh, you know, you, you you'll probably find that there's a whole bunch of expenses that you um, you know shelling out good money for that you don't really need to do. I mean, gyms are a perfect example. I mean, I, the amount of people I see, uh, not to put too fine a point on it, they don't look like they go through the gym all that often, um, but they're spending you know uh, fifteen hundred. They've, they've got two, that locked in membership, yeah. And they're oh, they're killers. Those uh, you know, it's like oh, I want to cancel my membership. Well, yeah, just send a carrier pigeon, you know, uh, via smoke. <laughs> signal we might be able to work something out within 48 you know weeks it's, it's ridiculous yeah. they really do lock you in um but yeah gyms are one um obviously you know when you're looking at entertainment i think i did mention it before you know you've got to you know even just switching from udl cans to mm. you know mix you know mixes to actually getting a bottle or something and mixing it if you like to drink if do you, you really need to have that foxtel if you're not there all the time foxtel is a you know look the, the days of foxtel i mean i don't even understand why anyone gets it anymore i mean really you be, you're better off if you're going to do like a pay-per-view i think we got the mcgregor fight on you know i'm, I'm going to be watching it you yes know? it's going to be very busy <laughs> but let's put it this way I, rather than pay you know 100 plus dollars a month for foxtel um you know, I'm going to go to a local pub and watch uh, McGregor, well, possibly get his ass whipped, really. But um, <laughs> having said that, you know, like you've got to get out there and, and, and just look at what, what it is that you're you're spending money on. And Fo- Foxtel's a perfect example, especially if you go, well, I oh, like entertainment. Well, get on the Netflix. It's $11 a month or something, you know, or, yeah. or some of the other competitors. I don't want to be here in, endorsing other mm-hmm. institutions. But having said that... Um, something to keep in mind. Yeah, something to keep in mind. And... You know, uh, and I know it is hard, especially if you know you're down to one income. It can be, it can be tough? So yeah, uh, the the short answer is there is no hard and fast rule. But um, look, I mean, it's something we definitely help all our clients with. That's the sure. first port of call is we go through go through your budget. What are you spending? How can we tighten up? Uh, Kimberly Bishop also sent us an email at redfm.com.au. She wanted to know the the difference, I guess, between negative gearing and positive gearing. What are the benefits? What are the, the negatives of both? Yeah, this is a fantastic question. And I suppose it's really applicable to people in the FIFO. Everyone's paying exorbitant amounts of tax. And so to get a negatively geared investment, um, you know, if it's sold in a certain way to them, they go, what, you're saying I can get this much back on tax and all the rest? The short answer is if you're going to get that money back on tax, it means that you've actually made a loss all the way through the year. That's that's really the long and the short of it. Uh, you, there is certain types of you know tax depreciation you can get on investments that is you know basically getting money back that you didn't spend. But ultimately, for the vast majority of people out there that have negatively geared investments, it's because they have the, the you know the income coming in for that investment is not enough to cover all of the expenses. Now this kind of fits in you know beautifully with this whole thing because. If you're looking at doing any kind of exit strategy out of the FIFO life, if you're there going, look, I'm going to get in, make my money and get out, then getting negatively geared investments is probably not the best strategy for you, yeah. right? Like if you're going to be a career FIFO worker and you know that you're going to you know, be on X amount, you know, 180, 200 grand a year and you, 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 this is the life for you, couldn't imagine any way to live, any other way to live, then yeah, doing negative gear investments and trying to build up a portfolio that way is feasible. Yeah. However, the thing is, if you ever lose your job or you kind of have that kind of break, then those negatively geared investments end up being massive drains on your surplus income. Because now, like I said, the you know the negatively geared investment means that the income isn't enough to match all of the expenses. So you've got to cover the shortfall. So if you get if you invest wisely, and I would suggest even if you are on big money, 
get onto some kind of positively geared or at least neutrally geared investment. Because if you do lose your job, all of a sudden that investment now positively geared means that all of the income coming in is uh, can cover all of the expenses of that investment and give you additional money on top of that. So all of a sudden that investment actually becomes, uh, instead of being a liability if you lose yeah. your job, it's something that's supplementing your yeah. income. Yeah. You know, so... Yeah, I mean, and especially, you know, uh, feeding in with what we were talking about before with budgeting and all the rest. Well, if you get something that's going to give you an extra, you know, 50 or $100 a week, well, there's there's a bit of extra money, a bit of extra playing money for you, you know? Yeah, yes, indeed, of course. So you help out a lot of people on a day-to-day basis, and I'm sure you've helped out a lot of listeners. If you've got a question as well, please send it through at redfm.com.au. Some nice, juicy incentives as well just for doing that. You've got a few e-books as well, also online at Chesswork Group's official website. I do, yeah. It's uh, really easy. Get on the website. It's chessworkgroup.com.au. Uh, down, you know, put in your details. You can download our e-books, um, give you some valuable tips. Uh, otherwise, feel free to give us a call on 1300 295 138. Alex Anderson, the CEO of Chesswork Group, it is always a pleasure. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you so much for having me.